In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the FPS of a video using OpenCV. Let's get started. Firstly, we are going to need the CV2 to capture the video from the webcam uh, and to show it uh, onto the screen. We also need to import time and math to do some calculations for the FPS. To capture the video, we firstly, what we need to do is to do the CV2.video capture and the zero is a parameter of the webcam that I'm selecting. If you have multiple webcams, you can give the numbers of 0, 1, 2. Uh, as I have only one webcam in my MacBook, I am giving the zero as a parameter for this video capture function. I'm saving this uh, object in a uh, variable named cam. Next, I'm going to instantiate the while loop. So while it's true, I am going to calculate the starting time of this um, uh, loop. And then uh, I'm going to invoke the cam.read function so that uh, the frame is read from the webcam and saved into the frame variable. Next, we need to calculate the end uh, time from the time.time .time function. And to calculate the FPS, we just use the formula of one divided by the end minus start. And we use the math.seal function to round it off to its nearest integer. Next, to show the FPS, we just use the cv2.put text function. And uh, it, what it does is it puts a text onto the frame. The frame we are selecting is the frame that is read from the cv2, uh, sorry, uh, from the cam.read function. Uh, we are putting the FPS as a string. And with this is the coordinates on of where the text should be on the frame. This is the font, font uh, thickness, I believe, the color, etc. Next, what we're going to do is to show the frame, but before starting this loop, we should always have this two lines so that uh, th this line means that if when Q is pressed, the entire loops end. As you can see, this is, a, uh, this is an infinite loop and it's going to keep on running forever unless we, we uh, put, put these lines, which means that if a Q is pressed, uh, the loop will break. So let's start the loop and see what it produces. So as you can see, we have this FPS on the top right, uh, top left corner. Uh, you can see that the FPS is fluctuating because the uh, the time is very like you know variable in this uh, example. What we can do to neat it up, and I'm, I've just pressed Q, the video just froze because the loop ended. Okay, uh, to deal with the fluctuating FPS, what we can do is we, we first instantiate a count variable and set it to zero. This is the variable we will use to count the number of F, number of uh, loops that is going on. Uh, for for each of the loop, we increase the value of the count by one. And when when the first first um, uh, iteration of the loop occurs, the we just instantiate a, a variable average FPS variable and put the value of the FPS in that. And after 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 the like next loop, uh, sorry, after the next iterations of the loop, what we do is use this formula to calculate the average FPS and use the method seal function to round it up. And uh, we can show this just below the FPS so that you can, you all can get a clear idea of what we just did right now. So as you can see that the average FPS is a, a bit like, you know, stable. It's going to keep on increasing and be stable at a uh, specific points of uh, like how much that they, these FPS is the average of. So yeah, this is the average FPS and uh, I hope uh, you like the video. That's all.